we will be launching a lander with a precision landing on the surface of moon to discover the source of a mysterious signal and Valentina will get a chance to sit on the booster to feel the really the power below her butt. Usually I feel power below my butt if I've eaten beans but that's a different story. However, Mooner signal. Now what we're gonna do? We're gonna do the Mooner signal mission of course. Director Terry Kerman, our favorite, you know, coffee drinker, is looking at everything, and yes, everything points to the, th the place where we will need to go to the moon, and we will need to get the flying, basically, satellite. All right, no problem. So, we have unlocked the tech in the previous episode, so I'm just gonna go straight into the assembly. Now, with that thing being said, this is our typical setup when we start and we are resuming with the Austrian theme for this episode as well. Because previous we have Rocket has been, we have changed from Swedish to Austrian, you know, colors. But, and it could be other countries, I mean, the, there is no tricolor, otherwise well, I would be doing the creation, you know, red, white and blue. But, well, yeah, we're just gonna go with the two color states, I guess. All right. That being said, uh, come on. All right, two experiments inside, beautiful. There we go. This is our typical lander and return stage. I'm gonna call this return stage. So there we go. Then we need to put some, you know, landing legs and some side boosters. And with some boosters, we're gonna do this one. All of my rockets until now have been mostly sleek, realistic looking this one is going to be a little bit more kerbal so more boosters more fuel lines more everything right here we go placing everything here landing legs beautiful that's enough and um yeah all in all this looks good to me this is our lander that should be landing on the kerbin All right, so there we go. And now let's design the rocket that will be taking it there. This is basically just, you know, a big fuel tank with even bigger booster and that's it. No more, you know, complex than that. So up and sitting atop of another big fuel tank and another big booster engine. So something like this. Beautiful. All right, so just sorting out my staging and then let me just check uh, and I have finally get a chance to use the mainsail. Ha <laughs> ha! Now these engines are a little bit meaty, but I figured, you know what, I'm using also the, the SRBs. I do love the SRBs, so I'm gonna go with eight of them. Those eight will give us the initial kick and I'm gonna use the struts, I don't know, I do trust the game, but I don't trust myself, so I'm gonna use the struts. There's lots of power in this SRB, so I might as well place them. Right. So I'm not even gonna even fire the main sail to be the first stage. By the way, sorry for my, you know, voice being as it is. I did get a little bit of a cold-ish and yeah, I'm still recovering. But uh, yeah, there we go. All right, so we have lowered it down and soon enough we should be kicking that sucker. Deluge, igniters and boosters. And the launch clamps. We mustn't forget the launch clamps, otherwise everything is in vain. There we go. Beautiful. So let's just see how far will our boosters get us. Apoapsis of 66. I'm happy with that. Let's kick in the engine and there we go. Beautiful. Our mainsail is providing us with an ample delta V. And we're gonna just be, we're just gonna be doing this 
circularization. Okay, apoapsis is there, periapsis is there, and that's it. Beautiful, experiment interrupted again, doesn't matter. This time I actually mapped the solar panels to their respective, you know, group, and it seems it's, it is working, so that's good. I thought that all of the solar panels are auto assigned. Do let me know if that's a bug or not. Right, some science transmitting. I have no idea. By the way, this science experiments that re return zero are confusing. And I know KSP team did say they listed this as a bug. So basically, if you're redoing the same experiment that's not going to give you new science, they shouldn't be done. I hope that's the case because this is a little bit annoying. It's hardly, and all in all, while I was playing, I didn't find any game-breaking bugs. The bugs that I found are, go from annoying to basically completely insignificant, but none of them did I found to be completely game-breaking. So, all, all in all, in my opinion, like most of the content creators, I didn't, I wanted to play a little bit more before I posted my opinions. This is the state that KSP2 should have shipped in into early access. If this was like this, the backlash of the community would basically not exist and people would be really happy because they're, oh look at that, moonrise, munrise or whatever you want to call it. Anyway, so we're going out and about, there we go, moon periapsis reached, 35 kilometers. Okay, you know what that means, bye bye Kerbin. Beautiful. Alright. You know the drill. Getting into the moon's sphere of influence. Ever so closer. And... Doom, 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 doom. Which means we are in the moon's sphere of influence. By the way, guys. Just so you know. You're enjoying the music. But I'm not hearing the music when I play it. Because I did a little bit of a trick. Because everything is being played, accelerated. And... Um, so I put the mu music in post-production, yeah. So, yeah. all right, anyway, there we go. Apoapsis, periapsis, and we are going down, so let's do this. All righty then, and beautiful, taking lots of screenshots. The required delta V to insert is 269, which leaves us plenty of, I've clearly over-engineered even this rocket. And this is not over-engineered, this is heavily over-engineered. But, you know, I might actually reuse it for some other thing, like, I don't know, Minma Science Hopper. Who knows? There we go. I think we have covered this, so let's go now, perform the burn. 117 meters per second, there we go. And let's point ourselves retrograde and we're gonna do a small burn and after that we'll be passing overhead so after this burn has done the next thing to do is basically to decelerate at the marker this yellow dot thingy beside okay time warp to a point no time like the present you know what they say all right getting closer I honestly think I should probably do, maybe I should do a maneuver note. How much delta V would I need to stop here? Let's just quickly find out. F around 500. Oh, it's good that I have kept the, you know, the skipper and this thing. It will help me immensely. All right, the burn should be happening in 40 seconds. Okay, so it will be a brutal, you know, like almost rectangular way down. We come above it. We kill the velocity and then we do it. Yeah, well, it's not the most efficient in the world, I can tell you that. But it works with the precision landing, at least. And I have enough Delta V, so I can pull it off. Purists aside, well, you know, hide your face, what can I do? Okay, there we go, a little bit extra. Here we're still moving horizontally, killing the velocity, good. We have 125 in this... Uh, 
stage and I'm worried that I'm gonna drop this tank right on the nose so I'm gonna actually drop it on the side let it go bye bye and it will tell me how close to the ground I am it says 5.5 kilometers so clearly I'm way higher than I expected and I always forget how huge these things are I'm trying to get closer to it because this time unlike the previous moon landing I would prefer not to walk 12 kilometers you know all the way there so let's do this and I have a massive amount of Delta V so I really don't need to be too conservative with it this looks close enough but then again I've been fooled before so we're gonna go slightly towards it take another selfie and I, I actually one kilometer yeah I could fly to it ground forks you know what you're thinking wrong boy get forward get more closer closer Oh, Valentina, it's you again. You have snuck into the cabin again. Oh, dang it. Okay, Monarch. Now we're getting a little bit closer. Now I'm happier with the result. Okay. There we go. I think this is close enough. You really don't get the sense of scale, you know, at this level. Just want to land softly. You know, softly being the relative term, but it looks good. It looks good in the screenshot. I'm happy with it. Okay, well, tell you what. You know what you're going to do? Yeah, you know what you're going to do. You're going to do some science. Uh, no science to be done here. Let's go out. And sit down. Yes, on your butt. Check out this. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, fix your helmet, we're good. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna be performing some science experiments here and then we're gonna go to investigate this mysterious source. I don't know if this will give us any, because landed moon mare, I think we already get this experiment. I'm gonna take it anyway. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Let's plant the flag. Mognet signal site, yeah, investigate it. All right, stick it there. Good. Selfie. Beautiful. Now, let's go to the moon arch. This time I have the RCS. And there we go. I'm thinking I'm gonna land on top of it. Hold on, hold your horses. 46 meters, there we go, and bam, there we go. Return to mission, explore. Science experiments. She's doing some science. Good to know. I'm definitely taking some surface samples and all that. Just to make sure that I do take... Oh, look. This thing is huge. Yeah, she is amazed. Okay, now let's get back to our little lander. And then we're going to be planning a trip back home. After all, this mission didn't result in endless walking on moon or surface. And I'm looking at you, Lander 1 and Valentina, again. So, yeah. Oh, look at how he, she, happy she is. Awesome. Nice dance, Val. Okay, let's get you back home, shall we? You've got a lot of the observations to report. Come on, and board boarding has we reached research reports yeah i know i don't care thrust and let's get the hell out of here okay we're gonna burn eastwards just making sure everything is ready hitting the gas and let's go i'm gonna go for uh, let's say 20 kilometer apoapsis and then i'm gonna be wrapping that one up making sure that we do get in any basically now apoapsis around carbon i really don't care that much and then we're gonna go and hopefully land so oh retracting the landing gear we don't need those anymore we still have plenty of delta v in our tanks we might even have for another hop 
but I'm gonna, you know, skip it this time. After all, we did our mission. I think we're gonna get a boatload of science from the Moon Arch, so we're gonna go there and then we're gonna be returning. And I'm also eager to unlock new technologies. I mean, KSP2 really now feels like a proper game. There is an actual game loop rather than, here's, you know, the rocket parts. And honestly, guys, I'm one of those people, I get overwhelmed with so many rocket parts at the beginning, which I haven't properly used. I haven't tried, I haven't progressed through them, you know, graduated to use them, so to say. So for me, progression is everything, at least in this kind of game. That's why I like to play complex campaigns for KSP1. By the way, I haven't iced the KSP1 series. A lot more will be coming afterwards. I'm just grabbing the moment to play a little bit more of KSP later. It's gonna probably be blended both KSP1, KSP2, Juno, who knows, Occupy Mars. I'm even thinking about looking at the Stationeers back again because honestly they have, the devs have released an amazing release and I didn't have a chance to play it. So that's something that I would definitely want to look into. Do let me know in the comments below, would you be interested for me to continue the existing Moon playthrough that I basically created only a couple of episodes? Do let me know in the comments below. Right, we are leaving the Moon's sphere of influence and coming back to Kerbin. We're gonna have a massive amount of fuel to basically decelerate, so I'm gonna just flip and make sure that we are pointing in the right way. We are a little bit on the higher side, but I do want to decelerate while I still do have the all of the engines and all that jazz, so yeah. There we go. Okay, let's decouple the engines, bye-bye. We have massive amounts of Delta V and I'm not gonna use all of it. I'm actually, after some time, I'm just gonna correct my staging and I'm gonna kick this bye-bye stage. There we go. I could decelerate more, but I don't need to, so I'm gonna just transmit some science. decelerate a little bit more and then let's decouple bye bye solar panels and everything else you have been highly useful i mean look at them they're flying off into the atmosphere hey where do you think you're going oh well anyway our drogue shoots decelerates us on our final return trajectory and after that we will be performing the landing Soft splash down at Kerbin. I've even enabled the main parachute and we should be landing down in no time. Almost there, 200 meters and we have a splash down. There we go. Beautiful. And after recovering back the science, we have gotten the Mooner signal. It's 350 science. My goodness, can you believe what you have found? Crystal spheres of the arch, blah, blah, and she goes all the way into analyzing all that stuff that I'm really not interested in. I'm not paying attention. So all I care about is getting that final reward. Yeah, look at this animation. Isn't it just gorgeous? Awesome. All right, that gives us 300, 680 science, which we're going to spend in the future episodes. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.